This is a video about how to go into VDI mode on your home computer. So I'm logged into Chrome here and I go to this address, view.northport.k12.ny.us. Once you hit enter, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. And there are two ways you can get in. On the right side here would be browser access or HTML access. So you will enter VDI within your browser within one tab. On the left side, you can actually install a small program that will turn your entire computer into a VDI machine. So I'll show you both methods. So on the right, if I click on this, it's going to take me to a login screen. I go ahead and put my school login credentials here. Okay, it says North put on the bottom here. I click login. And then um, you'll see whatever pool you're in. I'm in the teacher pool here. I click on that. And then within this browser window here, I will be in VDI mode. You can see I actually have two task bars. One is my Windows task bar for the laptop that I'm on. And then this task bar is just for this VDI session. So I'm working within VDI inside this tab. If I go to another tab or if I minimize this, I'm back on my regular computer again. So that's one way to access VDI through the browser. Let's close that. The other way is to install the uh, client. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to take me to another screen. Now there's lots of different versions you can choose here. Um, I have Windows 10. If you have your Dell laptop, you're going to want this one right here. So it's the Horizon Client for Windows 10 uh, UWP, Universal Windows Platform. And you come over to the right and go to Downloads. It's going to take you to another screen like so. Okay, and we have the 60 4-bit version of Windows. So I'm going to choose this one right here. Click download. It's going to take me to the Microsoft Store. And I go ahead and click get right here like so. Open the Microsoft Store. Okay. And it, you, it'll probably say install right here. I just installed it. So now mine says launch. But you're going to go ahead and hit install and let it install. And then once it's installed, you're going to come find it by coming down to the Start button in the lower left and going all the way down to the Vs. Remember, this is called VMware. And here it is right here. And then you probably will see just a plus sign right here. And you have to add the server. Again, the server is view.northport.k12. Dot ny dot us. So you have to add that server in one time. And then the next time you go in, you, it'll look like this, like a cloud. You click on this and your entire machine will become VDI mode. At the very top, when you're looking to get out of VDI mode and back into your windows, you'll see a little menu at the top that looks something like this. Make it a little bit larger. Okay. And this will be right at the top of your screen. And then this will disconnect you from VDI and you'll be back in your Windows machine again. So that is how you enter VDI mode on your home computer.